Hi, I'm Captain Lance, and we're out here in uh, sunny San Diego. Well, it's almost sunny. In fairly calm conditions, about eight knots of breeze, flat sea state. Today, we chose sailors with limited catamaran sailing experience to simulate how well these drills will work for people with average sailing expertise. We're not as concerned about what a professional instructor or sailor can do in these circumstances. Instead, we want to know what works best for your average sailor and what lessons can be learned by watching them practice these man overboard techniques. For this drill, I was not going to help or give suggestions unless we were getting into a dangerous situation. This was to put the crew in a realistic, stressful situation to see what goes right and what goes wrong. We put the three crew members in a typical cruising catamaran position. Chip was up front relaxing, Sarah was inside, and Anthony was manning the helm when he went down to check on the dinghy. Immediately, we discovered the first problem was neither Chip nor Sarah heard Anthony go overboard and he was far from the boat before we called out man overboard. Man overboard! Sarah did an amazing job calling man overboard, throwing flotation devices, setting the MOB position on the GPS, and getting life vests. Chip, here's your life vest. Got it. How far off? 20 yards! Typical man overboard procedures recommend calling the Coast Guard on the VHF to notify them of the situation. We wanted to throw this extra element of distraction in to make it more realistic for Chip. This drill is not just about boat handling, it's about running all the proper MOB procedures. I'm going to call the Coast Guard. For this exercise, we were not actually operating the VHF radio. Talking on the radio and communicating GPS coordinates were enough of a distraction from boat handling that Chip rounded up into the wind and got out of position. This is part of the educational process that we wanted to get out of this day. Chip realized that the VHF call was of lesser priority, so he put down the radio and got back to maneuvering the boat. Notice how dead the headsail is in this clip. With no apparent wind, it's really easy for Chip to forget that he was heading downwind. Or it could also be that he's a monohull sailor on a catamaran and it's not obvious that the mainsail is up because the boat doesn't heel like he's used to. Chip caught his mistake, but a little too late. And there was no way to stop the boat because the engines had to be turned off when we got close. He rounded up into the wind as we slid by Anthony. We're right past him. So here's the tough thing about backing up to an MOB. You must be really careful not to get close with diesels running. Can he swim to us, sir? What? Can he swim to us? He's, can, he's having trouble swimming. I'm going to throw the line. Wait, with the mainsail up, the diesels off, and no water moving over the rudders, you are only going to have moments to get the MOB attached before you sail away. I think a lesson to be learned here is even if you're within a boat length of the MOB, it might not be possible for them to swim back to the boat in the best of conditions. It's also important to have a floating line ready to deploy. So I jumped in to lend a hand here. Perhaps it was a little unfair to put Chip at the helm on a boat he's never sailed before. I gave him a little assistance and advice to help him get around to Anthony again and I furled the headsail to get rid of the luffing. The next step went really smoothly. Chip did a great job of bringing the boat around and on a close reach to approach Anthony. Sarah was prepared to throw him a line and they got Anthony back on board at the swim step. I'm gonna have to fish you out around, float out around. Oh. I got Oh, 
The big lesson to be learned from the day? It's pretty obvious that practicing a man overboard maneuver even one time can make a huge difference in how well you do. On our second drill, Chip and Sarah worked as a team flawlessly and brought the boat around and were ready to get Anthony back on board in under three minutes. <laughs> 